It's time for the weekend update. Welcome back to another Bit Legend video, fellas. It feels like it has been a while. My goodness, I film videos in batches, and so you, we've been we've exhausted my previous batch of content. And I had a handful of stuff that I wanted to get to you guys a little bit sooner. Um, I'm switching over, trying to get back to uh, being able to edit videos and things like that. That makes things take about four times longer or so. But anyways. Um, still been very active on the Discord, and there's been a lot of stuff going down. Um, expect to see more codes in the Discord. So if you join the Discord, if you check out the Coupon Redemption channel, similar to the coupon codes that we've seen before, there will be more in there also in Hunger Games channels and contests and things like that. We'll raffle off ways for people to get uh, coupons. And you can go on over to Lower Legend. You can click on the Exchange button, and you can enter in those coupons and... Uh, and, and make it happen. Um, if you if this interface doesn't work for you, you can also go in the little top right corner, the little um, gear icon in your settings. In the bottom, there's a link there, and you can enter in coupons that way as well. So a lot of coupons are coming. I will actually start to give out coupons through videos, through channels. I'll let you guys know about that when I'm ready to do it. Um, but like I said, we're trying to get to all the, the kinks out of the videos. But as far as the game itself, hey, we got a new update going on. I don't know what I'm going to do in the background. I kind of ran through some daily regen. Um, maybe I'll run through. I don't know. We'll run through something while I am uh, chit-chatting with the boys. But anyways, uh, let's get into it. So, yeah. Um, let's actually start with the coupon code. So, speaking of coupon codes, there is a new coupon code in the Discord. Go into the Discord. The link is actually, let's go back over here. Um, the link is actually the same link in the bottom here, discord.com slash invite slash bitlegends. Also, if you want to be a cool kid, you can do discord.gg slash bitlegends. So hey, the new official links, they are working. Um, I don't know what these coupons give. I know it gives free stuff in game, um, but anyways, jump over to Discord, go to the coupon redemption channel, type in the code as you see in the channel, and then you'll get a private message, a direct message from the bot. So make sure that you have direct messages turned on. And uh, yeah, you'll get your code, you enter it in the game, enter it in here, and then it should be good to go. But anywho, maybe I'll just leave this up while I ramble through the announcements, because this is an announcement video, let's do it. There's a lot of stuff coming. Um, they're still getting ready for the, the iOS launch. It got pushed back a little bit because Apple is now taking longer to audit new applications on their iOS store. So it's still coming, it's still coming, trust me, soon, hashtag soon, trademark. But anyways, all right. Um, all purchases of packs and gems will earn you Scarlet Gems. So what is that? So if you go into the pack store, which is covered up by the server maintenance thing, you can see it in the top, the pack store. If you buy um, pack store, I guess this one, maybe all of them, and it has these gems, it's gonna also have the red Scarlet Gems as well as if you buy gems directly, you know, you're spending them big bucks you're supposed to also get Scarlet Gems, and you want Scarlet Gems, it's actually not shown here, for uh, Midas events. To my knowledge, and this could change, but as of right now, I believe that all Midas gem rushes that have gems will be the Scarlet Gems. The problem was they didn't want people stacking up a bunch of gems and never spending them. They wanted um, people to be able to kind of use it a little bit more, and also they wanted a way for free-to-plays to get a piece of the action a little bit. You might argue, agree, or disagree with that, but anyways, um, can't show you the Midas because it's not here. I actually did film myself doing a little bit of the red Midas with free-to-play gems, um, and hopefully that'll be making its way to the video uh, somewhat soon. But anyways, um, so you'll get Scarlet Gems from the, the ordinary ways that you were already purchasing gems, you'll get it. And there's also free-to-play ways as well. I don't know if these events show any of it. Um, but they were giving out, um, they were giving out Scarlet Gems in some of the events as well. So there will be ways for free-to-plays to get a piece of the action. Um, but again, they didn't want people, you know, getting 100,000 gems and sitting on it and never spending it. That wasn't the intent. So Midas is still still alive. It's still coming back. Um, but they've changed it to the Scarlet or the Red gems. Number two, guild leaders will be able to buy from a new guild store. 
items in this store will use guild coins and will mail every guild member belonging to the guild the item bot. So that's a, kind of a wordy way to say that. Um, your guild will accrue a currency, and then the guild leader can spend the currency and buy stuff. Now, what is that stuff? Is that boost? Is that resources like energy and raid shards and stuff? I don't know. We're going to have to find out, but that is uh, what should be coming down the pipe today. And, of course, I'll be showing you uh, what, what's going on with uh, my current guild. Like I said, this is the other Discord link. It's the same link for everybody. It's just short. Uh, what do I want to show you guys? We killed Guild Boss 4 for the second or third time? I think For the third time, I think. And of course, we got loot that um, I don't see the value of. Maybe I'm just being, you know, maybe I'm just being me, but I'm not seeing it. Um, but anyways, and we also did reset. And if your Guild Boss button doesn't work, close it and open it again. And we reset it once, so we're going to clear through this. We can kill at least one, two, three. We've probably got a decent chance of killing four again, but we'll see. Um, next week, we're packing on some more power, as we always do, and, and I think we'll, we'll just blow, blow through there. Uh, for anybody who missed it, I don't know if it made it to a video, you can only reset the guild bosses once per week now. We had one week where we, we were able to reset it two or three times, and we just did one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, something like that. Um, but now you can only reset it once. I, I haven't spent a lot of time complaining about it. We did talk about this. Um, I didn't make a big um, deal about it because Guild Boss 5 is going to be coming pretty soon, and then maybe the resets uh, won't be an issue. I don't know. You've got to pick your battles at some point. But if you guys feel very outspoken about this, I definitely want to hear what you guys have to say. So um, Discord is probably the best way. If you, if you put it on uh, YouTube in the YouTube comments, I read it. If you put it in the Discord, everybody reads it. So, you know, that's on you. Number three. After upgrading gears, a continue button will appear. Clicking this will return you to upgrade your gear directly. So I don't know if I'll exactly show this depending on how long it's gonna take, but basically when you upgraded something, um, you would upgrade it and then it would disappear and then you'd have to find it again and then you'd have to upgrade it again and then it's, it, it just, it's, it's gonna be better. Put it that way, it's gonna be better. So that's kinda cool. New bonus is the gem turntable. This will be a one-time event, and one-time event is in bold, so I don't know if this is ever coming back. Um, maybe if you guys like it enough, we could have similar events like this coming back. Um, we will continue adding, try adding fun new stuff to keep things interesting. What they mean by turntable, at least based on what I've seen, is think of like Wheel of Fortune, where you grab the wheel and you spin it, and you have a chance to get an RNG reward, and there's a small chance to get something amazing, big chance to get, I don't know, like a fish, I don't know. But fun stuff. I like them trying out certain things. Um, we'll see how that goes. Addition of a new rarity. Transcendence. Thunder Fury will now be long to this rarity and is still currently the only item in this category. So let's go and find Thunder Fury. Let's go to over here. Click on the, uh, this guy. Where's, my, where's our token Thunder, Thunder Fury boys? There we go, Vuk. So Thunder Fury right now, it says ancient item in the crafting description, but it, it just says mythic here. They're gonna change the border and make it look a little bit spiffier, um, just to clarify to people this is the highest tier of gear. So they're gonna make Thunder Fury a transcendence item. There has been no mention of minions or other items or things in the game being transcendence. So who knows, maybe the hyper legendary fusion monsters will be the same thing, just to kind of differentiate things and clarify. I am hoping that they're gonna make Tran uh, Thunder Fury um, never become obsolete. Maybe this, there'll be better weapons with better skills coming out, but I do hope that they continue to scale the total stats or do something for fun Thunder Fury in the future. Because we've got new guild bosses on the way, they've talked about a raid nine coming out. Um, you know, theoretically it could be possible that raid nine gear has the same or similar total stats to Thunder Fury, which, that's not good. So obviously they're going to be smarter than that. That's not going to happen. But you just want a way to make, if someone puts in the effort to get this item and to make this item, it should be valuable for a very long time. And it was also mentioned, I believe, that um, either in Guild Boss 5 or the new Guild Bosses, the recipe for the DPS ancient items will be revealed. But um, Guild Boss 5 is not coming in this update. That's going to be two, three, four weeks away. So just, you know, those are all spitballing ideas. That's nothing set in stone yet. Addition of a new legendary monster for each of the radiation zones 
7 and 8. So I don't know if this means that they are replacing one of the enemies in Raid 7 or Raid 8. This is Raid 7. I think this one is missing a goblin. It's supposed to have a little secret, higher rarity, legendary monster in here. So I don't think they're replacing. I think they're just going to add somebody in there. And then over here, I wonder if they're going to replace um, the, what's that brown guy? Uh, Death Spiral. I think they're going to replace him. I don't know. That's a guess. I don't know. Um, this picture is actually outdated. and Maybe I'll update it with this one. The Scorpion's not in this one. Generation Kill, the green guy in the back, is actually not in this one anymore. Um, they used to be. So we'll see some of that change, and of course I'll show you that when it happens. Um, addition of two new monster fusions, so I'm assuming those are fusions for the guys I just mentioned. Number eight, a new auto-run function will be added. This function will allow the game system to run raids and bounty boss dungeons for you until your resources run out. While this function is activated, sorry, the, the comments messed me up, I got excited. Um, this will be ran at the speed multiplier you have set, but will allow players the freedom of not having to click on re-enter the dungeon to run again. So this is something that a lot of people have wanted. Um, what is the difference between um, starting a raid, hitting autopilot, and then restarting a raid and keeping autopilot on versus um, telling the game to run the raid twice, right? If we're autopiloting the raid, which is a very big part of this game, um, if you're strong enough to be able to auto the content, then you should have the reward of just sending your characters, sending your team in there, and, and they know what to do, right? So that way you don't have to just sit back and every 10 minutes click a raid and click a raid and click a raid. Big quality of life. Um, if you have strong opinions on that, make it, make it known because we want to hear it. Number nine, um, display of the probability for legendary items in Gachapon will be added. Okay, so let's go and take a look at this. So legendary items. It, if you click on view details, it already says you got a 1% chance to get these guys. Out of the 1% chance, 25 of them will be that. Um, it already kind of says, so I don't exactly know what's going to be added. Um, Maybe it's just a little bit more data details, I don't know. Because it kind of says the percents right there. It says what you got. Maybe it means for the limited time ones. Nope, I don't get it. Maybe they're just, maybe they're just fixing the format. Because all this info is in here, and we're appreciative of it. I think that Apple requires developers, if they have like a RNG box, um, that is like a gem box or something, like a real money box, that it, it has to show the percentages. And I think that's, that's probably good practice anyways. Um, anyways, so there you go. The ratio, this is huge. The ratio of life, life attributes in game, health of players. Currently, um, one point of stamina is five hit points. Will be increased to, from one to five to one to eight. So what that means, um, right now in game, if you have 1,000 stamina, you have 5,000 hit points. We were told it was 1 to 6, but that was incorrect, so it's 1 to 5. Um, so like I said, if you have 1,000 stamina, you have 5,000 hit points. The boost will make it so that if you have 1,000 stamina, you will have 8,000 hit points. That's going to work for everything in-game. So your enemies, your minions, your friends, yourself, everything in-game, the exception is going to be guild boss hit points. The guild boss hit points is going to stay the same. So if guild boss one had 8 million hit points, it's still going to have 8 million hit points. Um, if you detect or you think there's a, a difference there, if you feel like it's changed, report it as a bug. We'll investigate. But guild boss hit points should not change. So those are my boys over here. So all of this should stay the same. Hey, somebody's tickling down uh, guild boss one. And as far as the bounty boss, AKA formerly known as world boss, the Gavix world boss will not change. However, all of the other world bosses will get a little bit of a boost. If you're at end game, that's not a really big deal. Um, as far as I know, everybody with an end game team can clear uh, the highest bounty boss. So just to say one more time, hit point to stamina ratio is gonna get a boost. Your, uh, the Gavix world boss and the guild bosses will not be changed. They'll have the same total hit points. Everything should be the same there. Number 11, 
Refine will display success. Probability of items. Let's take a walk over here. Let's take a walk over here. So if you didn't find it over here, um, this is the refine guy. Is it? Is it this guy? Nope. Did they move him? I swear he was over here. Is he up here? Is that him? Is someone standing right on top of him? Nope. We're, we're taking a little journey here, boys. Is that? Okay, we found it. All right. So this is the refine guy. You put an item in there. I could put that in there and I could choose to uh, upgrade it. Let's show some stuff now. Um, they're going to add the percent chance of fail and success here. So getting the first levels is super easy. If you um, get to like level 10 or 11 or 12, it starts to get more difficult. You can go down a level. They're gonna put the percent chances in there. So that's a really good thing. A lot of people wanted that. We're almost done boys. Number uh, 12. Raid 5 will be adding a new myth box. This box will contain Raid 8 DPS equipment. So let's go back to Raid and let's go to the store. So there will be, this is the current Raid box. Um, I guess I can't show what's inside it without purchasing one and we're, we're probably close to purchasing one. Um, so there'll be a new box. This is the old box. This has the current gear. I can show that on the previous page. I guess they're gonna add a new box in here that's gonna have the DPS versions of all those things. I kind of thought they were already in-game. Maybe they're already dropping in-game, but the box is what's going to be added. I think that's what's going on. Because I've seen people running around with these items. Um, in fact, let's just open one now, give you guys a little bit of visual treat. I opened one before, I got like a legendary nothing. And I think I got exactly this item. <laughs> okay, all right, as intended, as you would expect. Um, so hey, they're adding a new one. I think I can show you one of the pieces of the, can I go down? There we go. Oh, I gotta go walk all the way around. Um, I can show you one of the pieces of the new gear because uh, Vashir has it. It is this. He's got two pieces. This is one of the new DPS pieces. There's the bonus right there. 15 damage, 55% crit damage. Nice bonuses on each piece. So this is part of the new gear. So that's gonna be in a box now. And this is also another part of the new gear. So there you go. Check it out. Oh, we're crashing out. We're almost done, boys. We're, I'll just leave it on this page. Um, but anyways, look at, look at Vashir. You can see the weapon skills and all that. It's the same as Genesis if you had the epic gun. Um, we're almost done, boys. Stick with it. Uh, number 13, myths from the Raid 8 boxes will now only be DPS or tank set myths. The boxes will be designated by a D for DPS and a T for tank. So there you go. You got your DPS box. You got your tank box. Hooray for tank players because there's now items that you can actually go for that aren't, you're just, you're not exclusively only looking at guild boss items. So you, you, your loot is now back in your hands a little bit. Number 14, the ability to see the number of attacks each member does against a guild boss will be added. I am so excited for this because strong guilds that are really looking at the guild boss uh, damage and activity and participation, they're killing bosses, they're resetting, they're killing bosses again. And when you reset, you don't know if people on your team use their attacks and are you gonna do it by hand and keep an eye on it. It's just a horrible process. You want the tools to do the, to do the job for you. So now they're adding in some sort of interface that allows uh, players to see who is using what attacks. And also, if I'm a strong DPS and you're a strong DPS, maybe I wanna hold my attacks and, and have you attack first so that we don't waste our attacks or anything weird like that. I can, co I can coordinate with my people, which is the, the entire idea and purpose of this. And then last one, number 15, PVP coins will again be exchangeable for GVG tickets. They did some testing, they took it away for a little bit, they did some numbers, hey, we talked to some people, and we said, okay, we can bring it back. We can bring it back. So there you go. That is the top 15. If you want to read through it on your own without me bumbling through it, you can find it in the announcements channel in the Discord, link in the description. If you want to get your code, join the Discord, go into the coupon redemption channel, and then do what it says. Read what it says there and then do the thing. If you need help, ask for help. Help will be given to those who ask. I don't know, whatever, I forget what that's from. All right, boys, it's been a while, I missed you guys. More stuff to come to the channel, um, depending on IT issues and whatnot. I'm, I'm hoping I can upload this video. But depending on all that, um, more videos coming. I'm not dead yet. Uh, we'll make it happen, and hopefully I'll be, I'll be able to edit things and make things nice and pretty like I used to. As always, I appreciate you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.